Good day everyone. This is the continuation of our lesson about the triangle congruence. But this time we're going to talk about the uh, three postulates. So we have the SSS, ASA, and the SAS congruence postulate. So in this case, we're just going to illustrate the SSS SAS and the uh, ASA congruence postulate. So meaning, kapag illustrate lang natin, uh, we're not going to use yet yung sa ating tinatawag na two column proof. So if you can still remember, ito yung first column natin, we have the statement at saka yung um, second column is for the reason. So hindi pa natin yun gagamitin para dito sa ating postulates or tatlong postulate na ito. So we're just going to illustrate, no? So, paano natin masasabi na yung dalawang triangle ay under siya ng SSS, SAS, and ASA congruence postulate. So, let's begin. Okay, so let's have the first postulate, which is the triple S, or the side-side-side congruence postulate. So, it states that if three sides of one triangle are congruent, to the corresponding sides of the other triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So let's have an illustration for this. So let's say we have this figure. So as you can see, we have two triangles formed. So the first triangle, we have triangle ABS, and then the second triangle is triangle CDS. So in this example, we can say, or let's say that you are the intersection, we have point S here, is a midpoint. No? So, ito, midpoint ng side AD. So, sinabi natin, kapag midpoint, yung hati niya talaga ay magkaparehas. So, we can have now that um, side AS, this one, is congruent to side SD. So, in symbol, we write side AS is congruent to side SD. So, that is the first side. For the second one, since S here once again is the midpoint of BC, so we can say now that BS and side SC are congruent. So we write that in symbol like this. So that is our second side. And then lastly, for the last side to make it the as the side 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 congruence postulate, so the last one we have side AB this one, and then we also have side CD as congruent. So we have that in symbol, side AB is congruent to side CD. So that is our third side. So we have now the side, side, side congruent. So therefore, we can conclude that triangle ABS is congruent to triangle CDS by SSS congruence postulate. Okay. So let's have the next one. Okay, so let's have the second postulate, which is all about the SAS, or the SAS postulate. Or in words, we have the side angle side congruence postulate. So it states that if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So let's talk about um, this one, yung word na included o yung words na included angle. So, ano ba ang ibig sabihin nun? So, for the included angle, it means that it is the angle formed by two lines and with, uh, with a common vertex. So, let's have an example. So, let's say this triangle para ma-illustrate natin yung tinatawag na included angle. So, let's say meron tayo din sa figure na uh, this side is given. Then, we also have the second side. So, nasaan yung uh, kanilang vertex o yung angle na mapapagitnaan nitong dalawang line na ito? So, ang point na yon ay nandito. A or this one. So, we can have now that this is the included angle. No, hindi naman siya dito. No, or even here, hindi rin siya dito. Kasi, ito po yung ating dalawang side na given. So, ito yung... Uh, angle na kanilang napapagitnaan. Okay? So, let's have the second 
illustration. So let's say this is the first given side and this is also the second given side. So nasaan yung angle na napapagitnaan nitong dalawang side na ito? So definitely, as you can see, nandito siya. Okay, so nandyan yung kanyang included angle or ito yung tinatawag natin na included angle. So, let's have an example. So, while back, that is the definition. So, this is our um, illustration for SAS postulate. So, identify natin yung dalawang triangle. So, this is our first triangle in green. You have triangle POS. And the second triangle in blue, we have the OWS. So, that is our two triangles. So, let's say, know that... Uh, here, point O is the midpoint of side PW. So, sinabi natin kanina, for the midpoint ay talagang nasa gitna siya. So, pag yung hinati niya, talagang magkaparehas yun or equal inside. So, therefore, we can say na si point or side PO and then the second one, you have side OW is congruent no? or congruent. Ayan. So, in symbol, you have side PO congruent to side O, W. So, that is our first side. Next, let's say that uh, we have here side SO is perpendicular to side P, W. So, therefore, kapag sinabi natin perpendicular, it formed um, a right angle. So, dun sa kanilang pagkitnaan, therefore, itong part na ito at saka dito ay parehas na 90 degrees. So, ang ibig sabihin din nun, they are equal or magkaparehas. So, that is our angle. So, we, right now, angle POS, ito, so POS is congruent to triangle, uh, angle SOW. Okay, so that is our angle. So, nasaan yung isa pang side para mapagitnaan itong angle natin? So, definitely, ito siya. No? Para na sa gitna yung angle natin. Tulad ng illustration natin kanina. So, we have now side SO, SO or side OS is congruent to side OS by reflexive property. So, that is our side. Okay? Hindi pwede na ito yung kukunin natin at, uh, at saka ito kasi andito yung angle natin para na tinatawag natin na included. Okay? So, napapagitnaan siya dito sa ating side na dalawa. So, since we have now side, angle, and side, so we can say now that triangle POS is congruent to triangle SOW by SAS congruence postulate or the side, angle, side congruence postulate. Okay? Next. Next. So, let's have the last one. We have the angle side angle congruence postulate or the ASA congruence postulate. States that if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So, dito rin, emphasize natin ano naman yung tinatawag natin na included side. So, it is the common leg of the two angles naman. So, tulad ng kanina, yung included angle, napapagitnaan nung dalawang side. So, ito naman, opposite. Yung two angles naman, napapagitnaan siya nung side natin. So, example, this one. So, let's say na given natin is itong first angle na ito. And then, we have the second angle is here. So, nasaan yung side or leg? o yung common leg nila na napapagitnaan ng talawang angle na binigay dito. Okay, nandito siya. Okay, hindi dito or this one, hindi. Kasi nandito yung part na napapagitnaan ng dalawang angle na provided. Okay, so let's have the second example. We have, let's say, this is the first angle that is given and then this is the second angle. So, yung kanyang included side ay nandito. Okay, so yung napapagitnaan nila. Okay, let's have an example. Ayan, so this is our definition. So, 
we have here um, a rectangular uh, rectangle which is we have a line in between that makes or that creates now two triangles so the first triangle natin is M A E and then the second one is triangle A K E so we know the fact that for the property of a rectangle the dun sa kanilang angles nakaka-form siya ng uh, 90 degrees no so therefore yung nandito natin na part at saka dito ay parehas silang 90 degrees and that we can conclude now that angle M A uh, A M E is congruent to tri uh, angle A K E. So take note ha ko ano yung reference natin. Dapat siya yung nasa gitna. Okay, so ito kasi yung reference natin. Next. So let's have Okay, so that is our first angle. So for the side, yun din properties ng, ng rectangle natin, yung kanilang side ay congruent, di ba? So we can say now that side MA is congruent to side EK. So we write now in symbol, side AM or MA is congruent to side KE or EK. So that is our side. So to make it um, ASA, so nasaan yung isang angle na mapapagitnaan itong side na nakuha natin? So, obvious na nandun dito siya. Andito. Yan. Tama? So, we can write now that angle MAE is congruent to uh, angle AKE. Oh, AEK. Sorry. Okay, so that is our angle. So, therefore, we can conclude that triangle MAE is congruent to triangle AKE by... A as a congruence postulate. Okay, so that is all about the three congruence postulates. We have the side, 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 asa, and the sus congruence postulate. Okay, so I hope na clear yung ating uh, tatlong postulates dun sa pag-illustrate natin. So for this time, thank you for watching and keep safe.